As Californian streamed into Universal Studios behind him, an unmasked and unusually jovial Governor Gavin Newsom declared Tuesday that the state was reopened and finally ready to turn the page after a tough year. And as he ends COVID-19 restrictions, Newsom is doing his best to shut the book on the recall months before the election. Early in the COVID-19 pandemic, Newsom was praised for his health-first approach to governing. But muddled policies, school closures and his own damaging missteps, such as his French laundry dinner during the state shutdown, frustrated even some of his staunchest supporters and inflamed an angry block of voters who had grown tired of his emergency use of executive powers. Now his political fortunes are on the rise again. Newsom is back in the spotlight, only this time he's giving away $1. 5 million cash prizes and free vacations in a lottery for inoculated Californians instead of offering grim news about infections and deaths, and telling people what they can do instead of what they cannot. The recall thrived because of the pandemic, and now it's going to wither because of the pandemic, said Democratic political consultant Rose Kapolchinsky, who was former Senator Barbara Boxer's chief campaign advisor. In the end voters know the governor isn't perfect, but he's delivering on what they want most, which is reopening the state. Given California's low coronavirus infection rates and high vaccination levels, Newsom's move to rescind restrictions is likely to ensure the shutdowns and political errors that helped fuel dissension fade into memories by the time voters head to the polls, observers of state politics say. The state's recovery, combined with the desire of Californians to get on with their lives, also drains oxygen from the recall effort. Newsom's announcement in April that he planned to reopen California on June 15 was met with mixed reaction by some who worried he was making a risky bet in a state that had already endured the cycles of easing and reinstating restrictions, and others who expected increased vaccinations to help contain the virus by his deadline. Dr. Robert Wachter, professor and chairman of the Department of Medicine at UC San Francisco, said the Delta variant of the virus could result in another jump in cases in the fall, but believes California is unlikely to experience the same kind of surges that followed prior reopenings. All things calculated, I think it was a smart date and I think it has actually worked out pretty well, Wachter said. Wachter and other health experts give California and its governor high marks for leading during the pandemic compared with other states. California ranks among the lower third of states in the country for per capita COVID-19 death rates, with lower mortality rates per 100,000 residents than Florida and Texas, according to data from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention.